Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, we're back in the shack again. And let me tell you, I've been trying to work uh, radio teletype, or RTTY, for quite a while now. I'm, I'm working PSK31 and JT65 and a bunch of other digital modes, but I have a real problem trying to figure out how to tune RTTY. Now, I've tried a bunch of software. I've tried Ham Radio Deluxe, of course. I've tried uh, FL Digi. I've even tried MTTY, which is uh, one of the higher rated ones. <clears throat> I found them all to be uh, difficult to use. And uh, to my old mind, I just couldn't quite figure them out. The interfaces were uh, on the software were... Uh, not real intuitive, so uh, happened to be on uh, a Facebook site, a ham radio Facebook site, uh, I think it's called Ham Radio Operators, and somebody there mentioned a software package called AirLink Express, AirLink Express, and uh, AirLink, AirLink, is one word followed by express. Now you can just Google that and you'll probably go right to the site. This is some free software that does RTTY digital mode very well, pretty slick interface and it solved the tuning problem for me completely. Uh, got a lot of visual clues. It's got a, a waterfall and a spectrum display. Uh, you can see up to about four RIDI signals all at the same time. It decodes those three or four or one or two or whatever you happen to be tuned into uh, simultaneously on a uh, let's call it a super sweeper like uh, Ham Radio Deluxe has. It'll decode them all at the same time. And it's very easy to tune into the signal. So uh, first thing you ought to do along with this video is to Google up AirLink Express. Download it and install it. I'm sorry, it's just Windows only. Uh, you might be able to run it uh, using Wine and uh, Linux, maybe. Uh, give it a try. Uh, software is free. The fellow that wrote it uh, has a tip jar, and if you think it's really good, you can give him a tip. But the software is fully functional and uh, is not shareware or anything. He's given it away, but if you like it, uh, he'd like to have a tip. So whatever you think it's worth, I guess. Anyway, I uh, downloaded it and installed it, and we're going to show it to you now on the uh, computer screen, uh, running it with the Flex radio. And of course, you're going to need a signal link or some kind of sound card uh, if you're going to do the digital modes like uh, RTTY or PSK31 or any of them. So uh, you'll need some kind of way to interface your radio uh, to your computer with an external sound card, uh, rig blaster, uh, s signal link, or something like that. Anyway, let's jump on the screen and see what we see in this new program. Yeah. Okay, so we're now we're on the computer, and I wanted you to see how this works. Let's first look at a signal and listen to it. So that's an uh, RTTY uh, radio teletype signal. And again, we're using AirLink, Ex AirLink Express to decode it. Here's the screen on AirLink Express. And uh, in a second, the signal will come back. There it is. And you can see it decoding up here on the left. That's uh, someone calling uh, CQDX from AA2MF uh, slash 4. AA2MF slash 4. Call sign. He's calling uh, CQDX. Now let me kind of uh, lower the volume and I'll show you a few things on the screen. 
again very easy to tune all you have to do is put this uh, blue uh, T symbol right in the middle of the signal or around the middle of the signal you can see it's trying to track it right now it's going back and forth uh, looking for that signal again so it kind of uh, self adjusts itself and there it is and you can see it decoding up here it decodes great on the right, uh, there is available, you have to turn it on though, uh, there is available a multi-decoder that matches up with this one, uh, two, three, and four numbers that are across the screen on the bottom. It has a spectrum display and a waterfall, and these are adjustable too, so we can make this, uh, you know, larger there. Uh, we can come up here and make this bigger. There we go. And adjust it however we'd like it. I usually leave it about right there, about half and half. Waterfall and spectrum. Uh, going across the top, you've got a, a bunch of quick buttons up here that do things. Like, let's start over here. Here's your logbook. And I've already imported an ADF, ADI file into... Uh, AirLink Express showing all my contacts. So did that already. This uh, gives you more fields for your log. So let's click it. And you can see all these other fields opened up. Information like notes or uh, uh, ITUZ or I IOTA or grid number or county. Those You can put all those in there if you want. You don't want that much detail and you just click it and it goes away and it leaves you with uh, the name of the person you're talking to and this QTH and a signal report. Uh, <clears throat> you also get to replay uh, certain seconds of the signal if you want. So it does uh, have a type of recorder. You can go back and decode those signals. This adjusts the bandwidth that you see down here. So I've got it on wide. Let's click a few of them and kind of watch the spectrum scope at the bottom. You can see it getting smaller and smaller. Okay. I usually let, just leave it on wide. And this particular uh, ready signal was inverted. Uh, <clears throat> normally, you're going to find them underneath the mode switch here you notice it does do PSK 31 and it does decode that pretty well I've tested that already and it does uh, QPSK normal and inverted MFSK normal and inverted and RIDI normal and inverted usually uh, a lot of the signals are just uh, RTTY normal but if you notice that you've got a signal and it nothing's happening you're getting gibberish uh, in the code you can just come down here and click inverted and it'll start uh, uh, translating it properly decoding it you can lock the transmit and the uh, uh, receive you can report everything to PSK Reporter with that button. Uh, this turns on the spectrum display or turns it off. And this is some signal to noise measurements that it's, it can give you. And of course, uh, a, put, a transmit button right here and a tune button. I've, I've not used that yet. I tuned before I actually uh, switch on the software. But uh, it also has macro buttons across the bottom here that you can change just like most other programs. You right click it and you get a box and you can type in here whatever you want. And there's some more uh, macro codes over to the right. If you'd like to use them, you can insert them there very easily just by clicking one and clicking this button right here. It'll put it over here for you. To use and of course when you get done uh, with your macro you should click save now remember that doesn't really save it you've still got to go up here and under file and click save macros and then it will actually save them remember I made that mistake when I first got into digital I would save them uh, 
save everything right here and then I discovered the next time I opened it that nothing had been saved. It took me about a week and then I figured out I had to go up here to file and once I got all these the way I wanted them I could save that macro and then I could reload the macro. Let's do that right now. You can see I got something called macros air link. I just click that say open. It says are you sure? I say yeah and it's loaded them. So now these have become uh, my saved macros rather than the default ones that are just general uh, uh, macros for making contacts. You can customize them. Anyway, real neat program. Gives you a little signal bar here. It does have receive and transmit audio right on the front screen. You can tell that the interface is very, very neat looking and very easy to tune those uh, RTTY signals. They, it's just as simple as it could be. Let's, uh, let's erase some of these and then we'll let you look at this for a second as it decodes a few signals up here. You can see it decoding up on the top. Now notice uh, let me just check and make sure he hadn't switched back to normal. We'll do that for a second. No, he hadn't. He's still inverted. And we're back to inverted. And he's uh, talking to P-U-2-T-R-X-K. P-U-2-T-R-X, I'm sorry. P-U-2-T-R-X. He has made a contact there. So pretty neat uh, little free software that does really uh, the best I've seen so far. And I would encourage you to download this software and uh, start playing around with uh, RTTY. It's a really neat mode. And uh, remember what that signal sounds like. Let's turn it up. And of course there's another signal right here, right over here, and of course it goes away, there it is, there it is. So that's what a ready signal sounds like while you're looking around. Uh, they come in bursts, so uh, you kind of have to be looking around and listening. I just normally put it in the center of... Uh, my pass band here on the flex and then look at the decoder and see if it's showing up kind of in the middle of the screen and there it is and just put the blue bar in the middle and I'm off and running and it's decoding perfectly right now so again AirLink Express can't go wrong with it it's free that's about it for now folks uh, good software package so, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies and 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. Be good. Happy New Year.